Adjust volume and tone controls, bearing in mind that the volume depends on the size of the audience and the size of the room or hall. It may be necessary to increase the volume. After making necessary adjustments, keep projector running until the focus chart fades into the black leader. Then switch off. You are now ready to screen another British travel film. No one who has ever been in London in the month of May can still have any doubt that the British are indeed a nation, not, as has been said, of shopkeepers, but of gardeners. For in May you can see that great and glorious occasion, the Chelsea Flower Show, when the Royal Horticultural Society assembles all that is rarest and most exotic in the gardens of Britain. And to be truthful, much that is both rare and out of the ordinary among its devoted membership. Among the serried ranks of flowers, the banks of colour heaped one upon the other in the gentle diffused sunlight under the tents, we become convinced not only that we are among a nation of gardens, but also a gathering of people to whom flowers matter, and gestures of conformity do not. Flowers on her head, or just the humble flower pot. Each tribute varies with the individual. Whether the serious professional talking money, or the agonized horticulturist on the brink of a decision. This is the greatest flower show in the world, and they know it. Gardeners are friendly people, and always glad to show a visitor their latest treasure. And some of the exotic orchids really are treasures in every sense of the word. Under a few square feet of glass, the specialists recreate the steamy, astonishing world of the Amazon, or the jungles of Borneo and Burma. Not everyone's idea of a garden, perhaps, but a strange and beautiful place is the orchid house with its rows of livid treasures and tiny masterpieces which have to be loved under a magnifying glass. Still other kinds of gardeners may devote themselves to exploring ways of applying modern science and technology to ease the lot of their fellow workers. An hour's drive from London, among the fields and woods near Godalming in Surrey, Roy Hay, writer and international authority on gardening, is investigating the push-button garden. some, a sprinkler is a way of getting water to growing plants. For others, the water may be an end in itself. 